three tips on the troubles with being a kind, compassionate person. I'm Keely Tavener, psychotherapist with a passion for human potential. Now, being a compassionate, kind person is a beautiful quality to have. Some argue that the times that we're living in, those beautiful qualities are in short supply. However, we have to learn how to guard those qualities. Otherwise, it's likely to cause us problems and dilemmas in our lives. Firstly, you have to be mindful that people are not taking your kindness for weakness. Compassionate people have a way of looking at situations in a very broad sense and can understand dynamics at a deeper level. Therefore, you are able to look at a situation from a very broad view with compassion that enables you to look beyond someone's shortcomings. However, it's important that you let your yes be yes and your no be no. If you don't have boundaries in place, people will leech from you and trade on the beautiful quality that you have. And if they drain you and deplete you, then it's highly likely that that will lead to depression and that will rob you of the beautiful essence of who you are. That's my first tip. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Secondly, kind, compassionate people are often drawn to their bipolar opposites. People who can be self-centered and selfish. This world works on opposites. And so we have to be very mindful about who we let into our circle. I done a video months back called Don't Let People Take Your Kindness for Weakness. Feel free to check that out. It's important that you monitor who is close to you. And for me personally, I know if a relationship trades on my compassion, trades heavily on my compassion, my capacity to understand someone and to look beyond their behaviour perpetually, then that relationship is not going to be helpful for me. So always ask yourself, does this relationship trade on my compassion? And if so, you have to be mindful because it's likely that it will drain you. And we know what happens if we become drained and depleted. Lastly, for my kind, compassionate, empathic folks, my encouragement to you as ever is healthy selfishness. You can't just keep giving and hope that people will see your needs. They don't. Humans are inherently selfish. You have to prioritise your needs and you have to put yourself first. Don't expect others to do that for you. If you're kind and compassionate, you're just wired that way. That's how you are, that's your essence. But having the expectation that that will come back to you will hurt you and will damage you. So it's best that you look after self, you take responsibility for your needs and understand that you have this nature about you, a compassionate, kind nature. It's the fabric of who you are, but it means that you also need to take responsibility for yourself because it's likely that you're not necessarily going to have people around you who are like you. I've also come to discover that kind, compassionate people, because it's just their way, their expectation is that it's kind of common and that it's everybody else's way. Uh-uh, it does not work like that. You may be blessed with a gift of compassion and kindness. It may be an, an inherent quality that has been given to you. It may be a purpose that you're on. So understand it is not common. That is a unique, beautiful quality that you have. And it is your duty to protect it. Because if we don't, people will lay, drain from us. They will leech from us and we'll be depleted and we'll be a shell of the person that we once was. Those are my three tips on the troubles of being a compassionate, kind person. And my encouragement to you is protect that quality, protect that way of being with all your might. It's your essence. I hope this video may be of benefit to you. If it is, why not like, comment and give me a share. I'm Keely Tavener, psychotherapist with a passion for human potential. Take care of you, because if you don't, People would drain ya.